In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your keys on the Shorty Key Organizer. So first thing you wanna do is put a flat washer on the small post. There's two, two posts here. One is wider than the other. Your keys fit on the smaller one. Keys only fit on one side. And with these posts here, you can fit three keys. I've got two standard keys. I've got one thicker one that's a post office key. I like to face my keys with the teeth facing on the inside. You want to make sure that the post is filled all the way to the top. That's very important. Your keys will be loose if you do not fill the post all the way to the top. If three keys do not fill the post to the top, go ahead, go ahead and add flat washers either on the inside, in between your keys, or on the outside. In this case, I don't need any, so I'm going to go ahead and put the wave washer on top. What's important here is you want to make sure that it's filled to the top. You want to go ahead and put your plate on the top there. You'll see that there is machined holes into this side of the plate and none on this side. Take the screw that's flat, put it on the, on the screw that has no holes. The screw that has dots on the bottom, little spheres, go ahead and put it on the key side where it does have the, the holes into the plate. Take your hex tool. If you have your own, feel free to use it. It's size two. Some people call it an Allen key or a hex tool. This one here, I'm gonna use a long end I'm using the long end here just to get it started. Okay, now it's just snug. You don't want to continue from there. You just want to spin it just so it's snug. Go ahead and do the other side as well. Starting to get tight. Just snug. At this point, you take the smaller side, go ahead and put it in, make sure it's straight. You're adding pressure as you're turning it, and just keep it straight. Give it a little bit of, torque it a little bit. You can torque that down pretty tight there, because that's, that's not the key side. The key side, however, you want to finesse it a little bit, add pressure, keep it straight. You'll start to feel it to click in. It's one click, two clicks. Go ahead and test it. See if that's a tension you like. Okay, that's pretty tight. You wanna loosen it? Do the same thing over again. Go ahead, loosen it at one notch. Unclick it one, a little bit looser. Okay, there you have it. Okay, open the blade with thumb stud, just like that. So you have a nice solid blade when you need to use it. You close it, go ahead and push it in. Your thumb, and there you go. There you have it. That's how you install your keys on the Shorty. It's a similar application when you're using the Q2. Same process. The only difference is you're allowed to put the keys on both sides on the Q2. Any questions? Feel free to give us an email. Thank you.